What's up YouTube? Welcome back to today's video. First off, hope you're all having a great day today. So in today's video, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be showing you guys lots of footage from our latest testing session in Red Bluff on Monday, and it's going to be mostly with the 450. You guys might be able to tell, you guys maybe can't tell, but right now I am not shooting on my big old DSLR Canon 77D. I'm on an iPhone right now, and then also has an external mic right over here. We had an issue with my main camera in which it got broken, so I sent it back to Canon. They're going to send it back to me all the way fixed up. Uh, if you guys would like me to do a storytelling mo or storytelling video for that, it would actually be pretty funny so I can give you the full details of actually what happened. But anyway, let me know in the comment section down below. But probably this next week and then this video this weekend in Red Bluff will be shot like this. Also, by the way, that all happened Monday morning right before we went testing in Red Bluff, and that's why I didn't do like a, a vlog where I did a lot of talking there. I did a few shots on the GoPro in between, like one or two, and then the rest of it was just a lot of GoPro footage so I could come back and explain each session we went out. So when we go and do testing in Red Bluff on Mondays, the track is kind of just the leftovers from Saturday night. It was very similar, very rough, like a motocross track almost, like the whoops down the straightaway, you could really feel those. And the track also had a nice cushion built up in three and four. One and two is a little bit knocked down, but like I said, three and four was really good, and the track was almost similar to the A main. So in the first session on Monday that I went out in in the 450, I kind of just wanted to get a few laps under my belt and see what the car felt like. And then as we went on, we tried to get a little bit better each time we went out. But anyway, let's go back to Monday in Red Bluff. All right, so here is the track here at Red Bluff. Just a quick little look. I know I'm on the GoPro today. I don't have my camera with me, but just it's really slick. That's all I can say before I go out in my first time in the 450 here practicing. A little cushion built up from Saturday night, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be lots of fun. I'm gonna go get in for the 450 for the first time today. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be like an A main track. Just think of it that way. session went pretty well one thing that I could personally notice just driving it and then watching the footage back is that the 500 you know you're able to keep your foot in a lot longer you can drive it in super hard and then you almost have your foot on the gas just a little bit as you go through the corner to keep the rear tire spinning so you don't have to use the clutch now in the 450 since you don't use the clutch at all I noticed that you're off the throttle for it seems like much longer probably not a big difference actually but if you watch the footage back you get in, you try to drive it in decently hard, but you don't want to overdrive it. And then through the corner, you're just barely on the throttle, but not as much as the CR500. It feels like forever before you actually get all the way back in the gas. And then like I mentioned earlier in the video, as you go down the straightaway, it's just like, whoops, all the way down. And that's how it pretty much was all of practice day. Now we are going to skip to the third session of the day. The second one was pretty similar to the first. Just kind of went out there, tried to be consistent lap after lap. But in the third session, what we are going to be doing different is we tried to drive the car super hard. Like see how far we could go into the corner pushing the limits before really it wouldn't stick and like slide up the racetrack. Because at Red Bluff, when it gets really slick, you either just want to ride the cushion all the way around the corner or kind of like tiptoe right on the crease and come off as straight as possible. So the thing you'll notice about this next session is when I'm driving it in, I kind of hit the throttle like twice getting in the corner to try to keep the rear tires spinning and keep it right on the crease and hopefully take about a tenth off my lap time. <laughs>
So a few of those laps you guys just saw were pretty successful and then some of them not so much. One thing I think that's going to take some time learning is just when to be on the throttle and when not to. I mean, you guys can look at people like Eric and Steven Gannon, who have drove these four strokes for just for a long time now with the Red Bluff Outlaws. They're not there so much, but they are like really on the throttle when they're supposed to be, and then they know exactly when not to be. So I think it's just going to take races and track time to really get that down, because, you know, I'm kind of out there, obviously, first laps in a 450, and I'm kind of, I have an idea of when to get on and when to get off, but I don't think I'm 100% there. Now, later on in the day, Jesse Caldwell went out and ran that car, and, you know, he has some, a pretty decent amount of laps in a 450 under his belt, and he was definitely a little bit faster than me. He was really right on point when to get on the throttle and never spun the tires ever and was just launching off the corner. Overall, on Monday, we did about 10 practice sessions. We went out six times in the 450 and then four times in the CR500, and there was like three different 500s there that we were all just testing. I was really trying to get a feel for when to not use the clutch because the goal for the rest of the Red Bluff Outlaw season is to not burn up a clutch in one race. Maybe two races, but not, not just one. We got to make it at least two. So here's a little bit of a different GoPro angle of our fifth session. <laughs> got better and better every time we went out. I don't know exactly what times we turned because the beacon, we had some issues with it, but overall the car felt really good. I was really pumped about getting some extra laps under my belt in the 450, and I definitely think if I went out there and raced it, you know, after some time, I think I could be up front. So here was the final practice session we did on Monday, and I went out in Jesse Caldwell's number 86J. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which is always linked in the description below, you guys saw I posted a one minute video of me just turning laps in Jesse's car. I turned I felt really good in the 86J car I mean it just was so fast through the corners and I wouldn't say it was explosive fast like all the way around like down the straightaways it felt consistent and in the corners it never bogged down it was just a consistent speed all the way around where some other cars I tested that day were really really fast down the straightaway but it almost felt better to have a little bit slower speed all the way around and keep a consistent lap time I felt really good in the 86J car there lots of fun going out and turning some laps in that he also ran my 450 which, like I said, he did pretty good in, so I was excited to have someone else give some good feedback on that. A few people I want to thank for making Monday happen. Obviously, Ollie Abasi for running out the track. I want to thank Shane Fox for inviting us to come down, and then Rick Rapp, Steve Coughlin, Jesse Caldwell, Hobie Mack, and then Jimmy Elledge for bringing out some cars to test. Honestly, just so much fun. I'm really glad. I think I learned a lot. You know, over time, the first session I went out in the 500, I was kind of bogging down the motor a little bit, not using the clutch, and I wasn't on the throttle at the right time. 
and as the day went on, we definitely got better. I'm really excited to get back to Red Bluff this weekend is the Red Bluff Outlaw Six Foot Trophy, Red Bluff Outlaw Yamaha for Petrol Trophy Night. So I'm going to be racing for a trophy about, you know, really, really tall. I actually have won this trophy in the past. I won it two years in a row. It was in the box stock division. One year, I believe I started towards the front, and then one year I had to come from the B main. So luck has been our side on this race. Hopefully we can bring home the big trophy. But that is going to end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share. And also, let me know in the comments section, did you guys think the 450 was faster, or do you think the CR500 was faster? But yeah, let's see if we can come out and have a solid run. So our goal for this last race was to finish. This one is to not burn up the whole clutch in one night. Also, let's see if we can get a solid top 10 or top 5 finish in the A main. But anyway, guys, I'll see you all next time. Deuces.